Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to a presentation of our paper with topic Comparison of CNN Models on a Multiscanner Database in Colon Cancer Histology. Digitization of slides and computational pathology is a crucial step which may introduce significant variations in color and resolution due to the use of different scanners. Therefore, one of the most important challenges for computer-added analysis in digital pathology is development of robust deep neural networks, which can cope with variations in color and resolution of digitized host light images. In our previous work, we addressed this challenge by applying different augmentation techniques during training and tested on our multi-scanner database. Another challenge in digital pathology is the huge size of host light images, which can consist of several gigapixels and lead to high computation times. Therefore, in this work, we compare different state-of-the-art networks in terms of their robustness and inference time. The dataset used for the baseline cartography network comprise 161 hematoxylin and eosin stained cone sections from the Institute of Pathology at the University Hospital Erlangen. First, all samples were digitized with 3D high-tech MIDI scanner at 20 times magnification and with 0.22 micrometer per pixel resolution and annotated manually but accurately outlining the contours of seven different tissue classes, tumor, necrosis, inflammation, connective tissue, muscle tissue, mucosa, and mucus. Based on the annotated whole slides labeled non-overlapping patches of pixel size, 224 by 224 pixels are generated. The database comprises over 2 million labeled images, image patches with a size of 224 by 224 pixels for training and over 700,000 patches for validation. A disjoint set of 30 slides were scanned with six different scanners, resulting in a scanner specific test datasets. For each slide in test set, the notations are transferred from the original scan to the new scans by co-aligning the whole slides. The main steps for the registration are adjustment of resolution, calculation of features, brute force matching of slides feature points, and finally, the estimation of the global transformation, translation and rotation. Afterwards, for each scanner, a test database with labeled patches with a size of 224 by 224 pixels from 30 slides is generated. Due to different resolution and background detection, the amount of image patches varies among the scanner datasets. In our training routine, we introduce color variants in the training data using a combination of hue, saturation, and hematoxin and eosin color augmentation. Additionally, we added a blur augmentation to counter the presence of autofocus regions in some whole slides. Besides, the standard exception model, we also trained an adapted version of exception model with added fully connected layers at the top. Training was carried out on a deep learning cluster machine with an NVIDIA Tesla P100 GPUs using a TensorFlow framework. The batch size was set to 105 for all models except EfficientNet B3, B4 and QuickNet, where it was decreased to 35 due to GPU memory constraints. Each network was trained three times and test results were averaged. Inference tests were done with a mid-range GPU NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 with 6 GB memory using a TensorFlow 2.3 CRP with a batch size of 30 and averaging over 5275 batches. Training and inference time are presented on the right side of this slide. Most models achieve recognition rates around 90% on all except the iStix dataset. Similarly, the standard deviation on all dataset is lower than for iStix. In comparison, the latter has a poor image quality due to the nature of the manual scanning process. Comparing to our previous work, the additional blur augmentation significantly increases the accuracy on the iStix dataset from 62 to 76%. The three efficient net models achieve the highest mean accuracy over all datasets. A decision on which models presents the best trade-off between accuracy and inference speed depends on how these attributes are weighted. If we use equal weights for quality and speed, then efficient net P0 show the best results. If you have any question, I'm happy to answer them in the following discussion round. Thank you for your attention.